Hello students, my name is Amrit Visa and in this video we will discuss on the topic of nutrition in plants. Now, animals and humans, they depend on outside sources of food to consume nutrition. In case of humans, you have noticed that we consume a variety of fruits and vegetables. Green vegetables like ladyfinger or okra, cauliflower, cabbage, spinach and how can we forget the most favorite vegetable of everyone? That is the bitter gourd. But what about plants? How do they consume their nutrition? Well, majority of plants, their mode of nutrition is autotrophic. Now, what word autotrophic means? This word is made up of two parts. Auto, which means self, and trophic comes from the word trophos, which means nourishment. And since plants, they make their own food, they are known as autotrophic organisms. Now, the next logical question which comes up is that plants apna food prepare kaise karte hai? Well, this takes place by the process of photosynthesis in which plants, they take up different types of raw materials and they produce carbohydrates and they release oxygen. Now, in a typical plant, there are several processes which goes on which helps in the process of photosynthesis. The leaf, it is called the kitchen of the plant because yahi par plants apna food prepare karte hai. Now when we cook for ourselves, we use different types of raw materials. Similarly, plants also require different types of raw materials for the process of photosynthesis. Plants, they absorb carbon dioxide from air and water and minerals are absorbed through roots and transported to the leaves via the vascular bundles, which runs like pipes throughout the plant. Leaves, they have small pores called stomata which allows the absorption of carbon dioxide into the leaves. Now, apart from these raw materials, there are two other things which are very crucial for the process of photosynthesis. They are sunlight and the green pigment chlorophyll. Chlorophyll helps in capturing the energy of the sunlight, which is used to prepare food for plants from carbon dioxide and water. Sunlight is a very important part of the overall process and therefore the term photosynthesis is named after it. Photo means light and synthesis means to combine. Now, apart from producing food for plants, there is another important product of photosynthesis and that is oxygen, which is very crucial for a majority of life on this earth. Surprisingly, photosynthesis is not the only way in which plants can obtain nutrition. Have a look at this image. This amazing organism is called the pitcher plant. And the fascinating thing about this plant is that it can trap and digest insects and therefore these are called insectivorous plants. These plants have a pitcher-like or jug-like structure and this structure are modified parts of the leaf. Now this pitcher ke upar ek lid jasa structure bhi hota hai which can open and close the mouth of the pitcher. Pitcher ke under there are lot of hair-like structures which are directed downwards. Jab koi insect is ke upar land karta hai, so this lid is closed and the insect gets trapped. Digestive juices secreted by the pitcher helps the plant digest the insect. Similarly, there are different types of plants which cannot synthesize their own food due to a lack of chlorophyll. Now, how do plants survive karte hai? These plants then have to rely on parasitic form of nutrition. Parasites in general are organisms ko bolte hai, which are dependent on a host from which they derive its nutrition. Cascuta is a type of parasite which has thin branch structures and they can be seen wrapped around the stems and branches of its host plant. In India, it is also called as Amarbali. Cascuta derives nutrition from its host plant, thereby becoming a parasite. Aapne kabhi bread ke upar aise green ya black spots dekhe hai? This is a sign of bread getting spoiled. This is also another form of nutrition which can be seen in fungi. We will learn about this and many other interesting things in our in-class section. Till then, goodbye and take care.